Today I will be making pickled cucumbers. Um, following, following, mainly following the instruction of this book, uh, Nourishing Traditions. Uh, this is probably the best cookbook uh, out there uh, for health and wellness. The first thing I, I do want to highlight is that uh, only use organic organic vegetables or fruits, whatever you're pickling. And the reason being, um, you don't want pesticides or herbicides that you're consuming. Um, and you, uh, when it's organic, you know it's not GMO, genetically modified. I know people say, well, what's wrong with GMO? There's no study done that shows the harm of it. There are studies done, uh, but also we have to wait until the long-term effects of GMO, which is going to be hard to um, even isolate the long-term effect of just GMO. Uh, and just because just because there's no study done doesn't mean it's harmless, right? Uh, people have said that smoking for pregnant women uh, was fine, right? Uh, until there were studies done, but by that time the long-term study came out, it was a bit too late. Uh, I just peel them mainly because I don't like the peels. Peels tend to have anti-nutrients. And I just chop them up however I want, right? Now, I do put uh, two or three of the long pieces, and I'll explain why. Um, the reason is it's for the top. I'm using just a normal mason jar. This is a quart. But I don't want the cucumbers floating up all the way up to the top because that's when you uh, get mold because you will be putting the uh, pickles out for a while, right? So I just have a couple of long pieces to block the other cucumbers from coming up. And I'll show how that looks um, as I do this. And you just can, you can cut them up however you want. I just like the longer pieces. Uh, they're fun to munch on, right? But really, you can do however you want. Uh, the key to this is just following the instruction. Um, I, I modify it a little bit because I don't have homemade whey uh, that kicks off this uh, fermentation. And um, there is an instruction for what to do without a homemade whey, uh, which is to add more salt. But when I did that, it, it was too salty for my taste. and. You know, then that's not too palatable, is it? So I'm gonna just do the same thing um, for the other two cucumbers. Um, you can keep the peels and then compost them if you have your own compost uh, bucket, which we do, uh, and it's it's really nice because you can. Uh, use the good soil that the worms provided um, and it's very nutritious so I'll keep the long piece here too right um, and you'll see why uh, I'm only gonna make one jar for the video it would take too long to cut the other pieces but you just put all the cucumbers cut up now, one important thing is you want all your equipment and even your hands for sure uh, to be clean, right? You want to wash them. Uh, I would even recommend if you have the time to uh, boil the jars, right? Um, So, I'm just putting all the cucumbers in here. I like to just put as much as possible. Uh, so I make a lot. My family goes through like 
a jar in a couple of days. So I, I have to keep making them. Uh, it takes three days to ferment about. Um, I think three days when I did it, it was so sour. Like, um, it was so carbonated too. Um, I'll explain what to do about that. But uh, you see right here, the top of the jar, uh, you don't want the cucumbers to come up to the top. So what I do is, right, I'll, I'll put this piece here. I'm gonna put this in, right? And then I'm going to put, I'm gonna block the top with the long uh, cucumbers that I just cut up. Um, this way it keeps the little pieces uh, underneath and that's crucial you don't want oops you don't want the cucumber to come up right um, so right here the next thing you want to do is uh, to have some sort of good bacteria good source of bacteria I said that if you have homemade whey not not like whey that you you buy from the store but homemade whey that's living uh you can put it there i forgot the what the i think it was like four tablespoons from nourishing traditions you got to check it what i'm using today is uh the pickle juice from the old uh pickle uh we finished it but i i don't throw it away i can reuse it so i just pour just I mean, it just depends on your preference. I like to pour a lot because I really like it fermented. Uh, Lacto-fermented foods, uh, just health foods, right? They're so good for you. And the next thing I do is I get a cup of sea salt. This is, um, this is actually from Utah. Uh, it's unrefined kosher salt uh, full of minerals. And how you know it has minerals is all the color here, right? It's pink. It's not just pure white. Uh, and what I'm going to do is fill this with water. It's all estimation here, really. Uh, it's around the ballpark, right? Uh, make sure you use filtered water because uh, tap water has substance uh, chemicals that would kill the good bacteria. But not only that, uh, tap water doesn't filter out pharmaceuticals right so when you drink tap water 